All right, so if you're working on a Mac Mini, uh, model A1993, all right, and you're trying to uh, replace the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery, um, this has a standard CR2032, but they do put this little plastic on top. You can use like any little plastic or any tool to get in this little hole, okay? And you're basically just gonna peel this up, but you wanna be careful because there are, it, the adhesive is also wrapped over here and here. Um, if you don't care about tearing it, then you don't need to worry about it. Uh, but if you want to keep it all nice, you're going to have to peel up from these sides here. Let me see if I can try and record this. Sorry. All right, so let's see what I can show here. All right, if you're wondering how to get this board out of the computer, I do have a video showing that. Um, so just let me know. Uh, maybe I'll link it in the comment section below and pin it. But uh, here you go, we can peel this up. So if you look at the side here, they have these parts that are wrapped over. So you're gonna be able to peel that and then you're gonna be stuck here. Um, and I think Apple did this so they know that you worked on it, okay? Um, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get this off. You're almost definitely going to end up leaving, oops, sorry. You're almost definitely going to end up leaving signs that you peeled it up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a small flathead screwdriver and see if I can peel it up that way. If that doesn't work, I might have to use something smaller, like an um, acupuncture kind of needle, like super thin. Um, but let's see. Okay, so first we're going to try and peel up an edge here. And yeah, it's like really tough here. Okay, you can try and start closer. Oops, sorry. You can try and start closer towards the top because when it's folded, it creates that little gap. Um, but yeah, that's a super small gap so I'm gonna grab an acupuncture needle give me a second because those are super thin and super um, tiny so let's see we should be able to get under it that way okay so you see this we're gonna use this acupuncture needle and we're gonna try and just get under there and you can see the needle goes in so now we're gonna just slide this needle down and basically um, get it to peel up more. Once you do that, you should be able to get the small, thin flat screwdriver in there. You can pull that needle out, and then we can kind of work our way down the edge. You can see it's now peeling up, okay? And we're gonna continue working our way over, okay? Just like this. And continue slowly peeling. You can kind of get under there and peel this, okay? Once you get that, you can actually peel this whole thing up Okay, and the other side here will also peel up. Um, oh, they actually wrapped it around on three sides. So we're gonna peel up the other side as well. Okay, again, using the acupuncture needle. So where is this? Okay, same thing. We're gonna get underneath that little corner there. Okay, you can see we can get the needle in, work our way down a bit, kind of form a gap, get the flathead screwdriver in there and then work our way down and hopefully we can take that out and yeah all right let's go ahead and continue getting under there pushing it slowly as we push it it's going to slowly lift up the adhesive okay and we're working towards the bottom first and then going up towards the rest all right so now that we got that peeled up we should be able to pull this if it doesn't come up you might have to pull this tab up and peel that Okay. There we go, and now we have that open. You don't have to peel out the last flap, we'll just leave that as is. Okay, so now we have access to the battery, and this is basically like every other CR2032 battery on the motherboard. So you push the battery inwards and then lift up. I'm going to keep my finger over here so it doesn't fly out. So push in like that and lift up. There we go, and there is the battery. And actually, it's not a CR2032, it's a BR2032. I've never seen that before. Anyways, they're also, it should be exactly the same size. Let me actually look this up because I wanna make sure, I probably shouldn't have torn this battery out yet, but give me a second, I'm gonna check that, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. So apparently the CR2032 and BR2032, it's basically a slightly different like chemistry chemicals in there. Um, and what happens is the BR2032 can handle um, a little bit higher range of temperatures. I think it's like 
higher end, like another 10 degrees Celsius or something. And then the other thing is the BR2032. It'll maintain that three volt for a long time and then just all of a sudden drop. Uh, whereas the CR2032, it like gradually like decreases. So I don't know. I mean, either way it should work. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Um, the one thing I'm worried, we'll see the customer if they wanna like order the BR2032 or if it stops working earlier, we could always just replace the battery then um, since we already have it open, All right? But, uh, oh, this one has like a plastic around the plastic. Interesting, how do you open this? Okay, well, we gotta peel that off and then somehow get this casing separated. Oh, I have to actually cut around this. Okay, um, anyways, so the main difference is that. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna have a bad effect or not because this battery is pretty close to the heat sink there. Um, it shouldn't be reaching that high temperatures though, so should technically be okay. All right, Man, what is this the way they sealed this battery? I can't get it out. But uh, that was the main difference that I read online. So I don't know if anyone had experience with changing this with the other kind and see what it like, what the difference, if it causes any difference. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put it and then we'll find out. All right, cause the voltage wise, it should be fine. So let's see. All right, but uh, I don't know, getting this battery out. <laughs> I can't even get this battery out of the thing. So how am I gonna do this? I think I have to like cut it up there. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this here up here. Now I have cut up plastic everywhere. There we go. Now we can get access to this battery. They have a little sticker on this one. Make sure you peel that off. Okay, and then make sure you put it in the same way. So it goes in like that, and then you kind of push that down. It's spring-loaded, and then click that in. Very simple. Then you just swing that back over, tape that side down, tape that side down, and you can push that. Okay, if you peel this thing completely off, I mean, this thing's not really necessary, so don't worry about it. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That's how you install the new BR2032 or CR2032 battery. And yeah, if you need to see how to reassemble the motherboard, then again, I have another video showing that. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. All right, so we push the board back in. The battery's all the way back there. We just got to get these two screws, those two screws, get the fan back in, make sure you connect all this stuff. That connector, I mean, again, I do have another video showing how to pull this whole thing out and push it back in. So, yeah, if you're looking for that, just let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.